Hey, what's up everyone? I didn't know whether I was going to make any more videos tonight, but I decided to go ahead and make a quick video regarding CERN and the Large Hadron Collider, which is one of many particle accelerators worldwide, or many uh, of these type of facilities worldwide. And there are just, there are so many. You can look this up online and find that information, but a new ghost particle manifested at the Large Hadron Collider. Now they mentioned this around Halloween time and the article was posted on November 1st, so check this out from The Guardian. Now this is not to be confused with photon light particles whose nickname is the ghost particles. I mean, photon light particles are also known as ghost particles, but this is a completely different thing. The Large Hadron Collider around Halloween time, which they obviously done, did this and released this around that time to beef up their propaganda, I'm sure. But something terribly new goes bump in data yet to be confirmed by the Atlas detector. So check this out right here. Astrophysicists and particle physicists, basically, I'm sure, are likely excited about this discovery. I'm not exactly sure what the discovery is, but they called it the ghost particle, discovered around Halloween time. Right now, they have a team of, uh, of astrophysicists and uh, theoretical physicists working at the CERN facility, supposedly looking into uh, and working on the data, looking into the, uh, the CMS uh, at the Large Hadron Collider, looking into this data, figure, trying to figure out what this particular ghost particle is, but... Let me go and read the article. Scientists at the CERN Nuclear Facility Lab, a facility, facility, as Jim Carrey stated in the movie, in his one of his movies, investigating whether the bizarre and unexpected new particle that just suddenly popped into our existence during experiments at the Large Hadron Collider. Now think about this over in Geneva, Switzerland, at the CERN Nuclear Physics Lab. They are investigating right now whether this bizarre and unexplained unexpected new particle a new particle suddenly popped into our existence during the experiments a few days ago and they're just they're studying that particle and just studying if this happened researchers on the machine's multi-purpose comp, uh, compact muon solenoid cms detector have spotted curious bumps in their data that may be calling a calling card of an unknown particle that has more than twice the mass of a carbon atom. The prospect of such a mysterious particle has baffled physicists and astrophysicists alike as much of the as much of much of it as excited them at the moment. None of their favorite theories of reality include that particle. So it's an unknown particle to any of their current many theories of reality itself. Though many theorists are now hard at work on models that do and trying to work this particle that suddenly popped into our existence, they're trying to work it into their models on how reality works and on reality itself, which they're constantly having to rewrite their very understanding of the way things work anyway because they're discovering new things every day. And also, they're using CERN for dark purposes, in my opinion. I do believe that CERN and the Large Hadron Collider and all of those facilities worldwide can open up gateways and portals, and I do believe that they can be used for nefarious purposes, for dark purposes. But back to the article, I'd say theorists are excited. I don't, I don't really think maybe that, that might not be the one cause of this ME phenomenon, but I do believe it is one of the causes of this ME phenomenon, if you know what I mean. Uh, moving back to this, I'm not getting into all of that for this video, but the point of this video is it's up and running still, and they're doing more experiments again, and a new particle popped into our existence known as a ghost particle. They're calling it a ghost particle, just in time for Halloween, which was a week ago, but still. I'd say theorists are excited, and experimentalists are very special. The CMS team and theorists working on that data, as a physicist, they said that they are... It, they must be very critical, but the author of the, the, this analysis of data said they have some optimism on it, too. They'll describe how they spotted those bumps in the CMS data while researching the evidence of the lighter, of the lighter 
cousin of the Higgs boson particle, the, the elusive particle that was discovered finally at the LHC, or Large Hadron Collider, in 2012. The Large Hadron Collider creates particles by smashing subatomic protons, as I just stated in the beginning of the video, into one another at close to the speed of light, so astonishing speeds. When the protons meet, the energy in the collision is converted into mass, and so particles in line with Einstein's equation of E equals mc squared. Many particles, basically, uh, it's, it's going at the speed of light, so it, it, it's converted into mass. They're in line with his theory of E equals mc squared. Many particles created in the LHC, in this particular device, are highly unstable and they immediately decay into lighter, more stable particles such as protons and electrons. It's looking for an excess of these particles apparent as a bump in the data that physicists tend to find new particles. For example, one way the Higgs boson betrayed its existence, betrayed it to us through this the unusually high number of photons recorded in the collision in which the particle was made. Now, when you have these uh, these facilities in a circle in this donut shape, kind of like long ago they were doing these different facilities, it kind of reminds me of the Tower of Babel type situation, but maybe not exactly. But when you have these cir uh, a circle facility smashing particles at the speed of light, Einstein's theory stated talking about moving at the speed of light, opening up portals and messing with time, or, or going back in time or forward in time, I believe, by going in a circle at, a, at the speed of light, or maybe it was reverse at the speed of light but that was a theory of his but if you've got a if you've got particles accelerating at the speed of light in a circle like that underneath Switzerland and many other of these facilities worldwide you're obviously going to be messing with existence itself when you're doing that and messing with the fabric of space and time or the space-time continuum and well the multiverse opening up portals when you have a circle like that and doing that particle acceleration you could open up portals. I mean, that's pretty much a given when you think about it. But back to the article. Particle physicist, it's easy to pursue. No, it is no easy pursuit, they said, to the endless frustration of his practitioners. Bumps in the data produce no, but nothing by nothing more than just statistical fluctuations of pop-ups all the time. The best way to distinguish between these... these Not sure what that was. It sounded like someone was in the kitchen, but no one was there. Moving back to this. No one physical, anyway. I guess it was spirit activity or something. Who knows? But moving back to the article. The endless frustration of practitioners bumps, uh, pra uh, of its physical, uh, physicist practitioners bumps, bumps in the data is nothing more than just statistical fluctuations pop up all the time. But the best way to distinguish the difference between these particular bumps in data produced by just random statistical fluctuations and, the, and an actual Nobel Prize winning discoveries is to analyze more and more data. Statistical flux always happen in these flukes. The flukes that take place, they always vanish with time, but they said the CMS found that the data pointed to a buildup of muons, heavy electrons, in their detector. So if real, the data indicates that a new particle with a mass of this right here, 28 GeV, or 1 billion electron volts, slightly less than a quarter of the mass of the Higgs boson particle, whatever it is, it is not a particle of the Nikotinko and his colleagues were looking for. It's not the, uh, the, ma the particle they were looking for, but it's some other type of particle known as some ghost particle. And this is a simulation of the collision that took place so there's a lot more to read here in this article, but let's see what it says at the very end. Given that much more data is on tape, even for CMS, it is clear that the effect the effect will be soon soon be confirmed or diluted away. So we'll find out. So yeah, they discovered a particle known as the ghost particle that came into our existence at CERN. So, a lot of stuff going on at CERN right now. But I'll be doing more videos very soon. Um, I will definitely be doing more videos about CERN in the near future. You can see several maps of CERN right there showing how large of a span it has. This one facility, this one large Hadron Collider or LHC. But it is the world's largest and most powerful particle collider and particle accelerator. 
and the largest machine in this world. So what if uh, what if there are you know what if multiple realities? Start thinking in a uh, theoretical physics point of view here, and think about what if alternate realities or alternate universes, parallel universes. What if they fired up the Large Hadron Collider at CERN at the exact same time, and all of them were fired up, or various realities, whatever? What if that were to happen? What if they were all fired up at once in various realities, and they all just, they all just uh, caused chaos and confusion and multiple shifts? Think about that. What do you think happened there? Did one of the alternate parallel universes or realities die? I mean, I mean, are we one of many that happen to uh, still be going? Or I mean, who knows? Maybe they're all colliding into one, and all of them are becoming one again for the ultimate plan. Maybe we're, maybe they're all merging and converging timelines or universes, converging universes to become one for the ultimate plan. But anyway, you know, God's plan. But moving back to this, I will be doing m many more videos regarding CERN and the Large Hadron Collider and all of that and um, bringing you up-to-date information and the results of the previous AWAKE project, which we haven't heard anything else about, the previous AWAKE project. When we were going through early stages of the ME process, CERN created a project called the AWAKE project. Surprisingly enough, during November, around the time we were doing the 11-11 thing, in November of that year, they cre and they did another, they restarted the Awake project, I believe. So, I think it started in September. So, it was kind of interesting um, how they did that, the Awake project. And I haven't heard anything else about that. Project Awake, I think that's what it was called. You can look that up if it's still available online. I made a video about it a while back. But anyway, I'll be I'll be bringing more videos about CERN and the LHC, the Large Hadron Collider. I'll be doing more videos about it regarding my opinions, my views on it, and the dangers, the possible implications that it could have, and that it might have caused, and might already be doing, and the effects it might already be having, and what it might have caused, and it might, this might be a direct result of that. But I just wanted to mention that ghost particle that was discovered at CERN. Not from this reality, so to speak. So, yeah. I'll be bringing more CERN and Large Hadron Collider videos very soon. Peace and much love. God bless. Thank you for watching. Bye.